Hey everyone, Mark here from Pine Tech, and today I got something that I've been wanting to do forever, is make my J-Frame holster a ready to ship item. So I'm gonna keep these in stock so they're ready to ship, and everything's essentially the same, but I just, some of my processes that I do to make holsters, I kind of sped up some of it so I can have this as in stock. So, let's take a quick look at this. Um, I think my original J-Frame video is probably eight or nine years old at this point, so let's do a little update video. All right, guys, this is my compact holster with a 10 degree cant. This is going to be the, the way it's going to be um, assembled for my in stock option. Now, if you want something a little bit different than this, you can order, you know, the right, my regular custom holsters and you can specify the color, the cant, whether you want a claw and all that kind of extra stuff um, that's going to be available still to order a custom holster. But if you want a holster and you want it without my wait time, uh, here we go. This is going to be it. So let's take a quick look at it. This, again, my compact holster. We got two points of retention here. So you got your two retention screws. So you can adjust that to make the draw as smooth or as firm as you like. As you can hear, you got that nice positive Kydex snap there. Up along the back of the gun here, you see the trigger guard is covered. Nice and covered there. Up along the back, it's going to hide the hammer and keep it off your body. So if you have a hammered model... As you can see there, it's gonna keep that hammer off your body. If you have the non-hammered version, that gun, you know, the profile that goes back a little bit farther, and that's still gonna match the profile of the holster. So it's gonna work for any version. Uh, down the end here, it's got an open end, and that's gonna do anything up to like the 2.1 uh, inch barrels. It's gonna do just fine. And there is gonna be the three inch version will stick out just a little bit, probably three quarters of an inch. Uh, as this version right here is a 1.87 inch. So you can see there, nicely secured in the holster. One and a half inch belt clip standard. There'll be an option for a mono black clip that you can uh, add on if you'd like. And then as you can see here, let's look at the side where your belt's gonna go through. The belt's gonna go through right there. As you can hear, it's got nice positive pressure against the Kydex. So when you put your belt on, it's not, it doesn't have any area to slip underneath. It's, it's resting against the Kydex. And then we will go nice and slow around the holster, guys, because if you're new to my videos, uh, I pride myself in my edge work and the way my holsters are shaped. I try to make them shaped so they avoid any sharp edges, 90 degree corners, anything that would hang up on your body or catch you. So the edge work is crucial on a holster. I'm gonna go nice and close here so you can see. All the edge work, you know, there's not gonna be any tooling it's all going to be done um, by hand with a Dremel. I polish it. I buff it with different, a couple of different grits of buffing um, wheels. And then I also, uh, I polish it and then I wax it at the end too. So quite a bit goes into my edge work. And there we go. One more time in. And again, this is going to work for any J-frame holster. So whether you have something that's got a, you know, the cylinders that have the, the divots out of them, like most of them, or if you got like the 340 or 360 where it's a sol solid cylindrical barrel, um, that's going to work with any of them. So this should cover just about every J frame that you need. And it's going to be available in my store, which the link will be down in the comments. So, hey, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching my video. Until next time. Mark here from Pine Tech. Appreciate y'all. Peace.